Hello YouTube, are you looking for a new sustain pedal for your keyboard? Well stick around because I got the product just for you. Hey guys, so this is a review of the Korg DS1H. I made a similar video about four year, uh, three years ago about a review of this pedal and I just want to update you on the progress of this pedal and what I think about it three years later. So um, basically this is the Korg DS1H. It's a regular sustain pedal. I bought this three years ago because of um, I would always buy those on stage pedals and those M audio pedals that cost $20 and I was sick of having to toss them, throw them out after a year because they weren't working. Um, now with this pedal that's lasted me three years already and it's working just like normal, like always, um, it's really saving me a lot of money in the long run. So I recommend this pedal 100%. Three years later, such a good pedal. Things I like about this pedal is that it has um, half sustain, okay? The more that you press the sustain down, the more of a sustain sound you'll get, okay? You can have a quarter sustain, half sustain, all the way to a full sustain. So this is such a really, really good pedal. The cons of it, it's a little heavy, no polarity switch. So, you can guarantee this would work with all Korg keyboards. It's not guaranteed that it'll work with any other keyboard. Um, like for example, I have the Yamaha Mod X and I had to actually, this has uh, become a, a second pedal for me in a, for another reason. This pedal on the Yamaha Mod X, I use it to control my ar arpeggiations with the keyboard. So I can have this keyboard turning on and turning off my arpeggiations while um, I have a Yamaha pedal that's actually for my Yamaha Mod X. So I have a heavy duty Yamaha pedal which is a really really good pedal for the Yamaha keyboards but uh, this is my go-to when I play my chord keyboards. Um, really heavy duty like I said it's lasted me so long already. Um, if you need if you need this pedal, if you want to buy this pedal, there's going to be a link in the description for you to uh, go ahead and purchase it from Amazon. And um, I'll also put my link to my Yamaha pedal that I, I use for my Yamaha keyboards. I think it's the FC3A, I think it's called. Uh, such a really, really, really good pedal as well. Okay, so I recommend the DS1H. I still do after four years of having it, after three or four years having it. Um, I recommend this 100% and you guys should buy it if you have a core keyboard. Don't waste your time with those M Audio on stage uh, sustain pedals. They'll only last you a year and then you would have to uh, repurchase another one. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, you can purchase one of these for $60 and 60 or so dollars and it'll last you forever. Okay? so. Stay in touch, stay tuned, let me know what you think in the, in the description, in the comments area, and uh, I'll post the links to the pedals in the description so you can have a chance to purchase one yourself. Okay? Stay tuned for my next videos. See you soon.